Let me show you the cheapest and easiest way, hands down, to do an LS swap. You gotta get, get you a carburetor. Like, listen, you don't have to tune, you don't have to do nothing. You get you one of these MSD boxes right here, okay? Mild build, maybe just a cam, small mild cam or whatever. It has preset settings. You can put it on, you know, truck, LS, there's a couple other options. Mine's set up for a turbo. That card's been modified for a blow through. Um, it has custom settings on here, so I have a full map and everything on there for that. Super easy to tune. If you're an old school guy who likes carburetors, and you're, maybe you're coming from a small block, and you're on the fence, this is the easiest way to do it. So instead of a uh, distributor like you normally have on your small block, you're going to have one of these. It gets rid of 90% of the harnesses and sensor and all the other crap that's on a stock motor. So you have two plugins here. One of them is going to go to your, your coil packs. So you're just like your normal LS, but I have these coil packs here. So ignore the mess. I've been doing some body work on the car. So everything's real dusty and real messy. So get everything cleaned up. So you have one of the one, one connection goes to your coil packs. The other one, it goes out and it has a, uh, a tip sensor on it, which just plugs in right here. A, your crank position sensor, which is by your starter. And then your cam position sensor up top. And that's it. That is it. It is just a few for you. This is all you got to plug in. That's it. It is so simple. The easiest way to do it, hands down. So it's really just plug and play. Two sensors. You don't even have to use the tip sensor if you don't want to. So basically two sensors and plug into your coil packs. You're up and running. That's it. All right. And then the uh, intake. This I got that off uh, Amazon. It's like 140 bucks. This piece right here. 400 or so. I think I got it used on a Facebook marketplace. So I posted up there. It's practically new 250 to 300 bucks. I just snagged it. The carb I had here, uh, this is just a Holly 750. I got it on Facebook too, 200 bucks. So geez, that's significantly cheaper than for all the price of all this is what it would cost to just have somebody tune your LS. So that's, that's how much more affordable it is to go this route. And guess what? I'm not limited by power from uh, fuel. I'm not limited on fuel at, at all, right? So now it gets a little bit more complicated if you want to do a turbo setup. So for a turbo, you got to modify your carburetor. There's tons of videos that do a way better job of explaining it than I can do, but basically you're uh, modifying these metering blocks here. Uh, you're doing a little bit of work on, on your floats on each side, and uh, you're changing out the uh, power valves in here for a boost reference power valve. So it's not that complicated once you get into it. There's a couple of good videos on it. But once you get that modified, everything, it's, it's all the same from there. Um, so uh, the benefits of why I like going to carb over the EFI is uh, tuning is significantly easier. And the carb setup can grow with you. Maybe you do an LS swap, go to the carb, you're just going to go NA, throw a filter on top, you're done, right? You add a turbo later on. All you gotta do is do that work to the carburetor and it's set. And you say you only wanna run, you know, four or five pounds of boost and make just a little bit of power and make some noise. You can do that. And then you wanna open that thing up and get you a bigger turbo and push a thousand horsepower. You can. A little bit of carb work and you're done. I don't have to go out and buy thousand dollar injectors. I don't have to go back to the tuner, everything. So significantly easier. So that's that's why I went this route. It's been fun. So I just started doing body work, had my panels ripped off. So I'm kind of redoing the engine bay, making it cleaner. So that's why it's all tore apart right now. But as you can see, it's been running.